Hi, this is Adam with AdvancedDimensions.com. Today I'm going to be looking at the Disto D330i and showing you how to connect it to an Android phone. I have a Google Nexus 4 um, and that's the phone I'm going to be connecting it to. First things first, you got to turn on the Disto, so we're going to use the on dist and I'm going to connect, I'm going to hit this Bluetooth button. So this is actually the same procedure for the D8 I'll show that in another video. So right now the Bluetooth icon is blinking, that means it's actively looking for a Bluetooth device to connect to. If you've already connected to the phone, it'll actually just find the phone and uh, connect to it automatically, but because this is the first time it doesn't do it, this is what we have to do. So, right now in my phone, I'm going to actually pull down this top menu bar and it'll give me access to my Bluetooth of the phone. Currently I have it off, uh, occasionally turn it on and off for battery uh, usage so I'm going to turn it on it's different for every phone to where you're going to find it but same procedure once you get there so here's the Bluetooth devices it's looking for a headphone set that I have that tells you that the phone's there I'm going to actually I'm not seeing the disto on the phone so I'm going to search for devices it's doing a search here's the Disto D3 and that's the 330i and that's actually the serial number so if you have multiples you can connect multiples with the serial number recognition so here I'm going to type in 0000, zero. Uh, four zeros that's the default done for any Disto uh, when you're pairing it that's actually a, a good default for a lot of Bluetooth devices a little clearer. click OK going to say doing its thing. Now it's paired. Now I'm going to go out of there. That's how you pair it. When you open the uh, when you open one of these apps, let's open the transfer app, what will happen is it'll automatically connect. Um, so now when you take a measurement and the Bluetooth icon has stopped blinking and you transfer the measurement it drops it right in. Every time you hit this Bluetooth, it drops it in. And I just did it all over. So I'll go over this app and the Sketch app in another video. I just wanted to show you how to connect it. And now the thing is, if we go in and turn off Bluetooth, and I'm going to just get rid of the app. It says unable to connect. I'm going to turn off the disto. So now we're back down to no Bluetooth and no disto. I'm going to just show you what would happen on number two when you do it after you've paired it. Show you how easy it is. So I'm turning on the Bluetooth. It's blinking looking for the device. At the phone, I'm going to turn on the Bluetooth here. And now because I paired this before, it already is it's in the paired devices and um, I'm going to go back to the Disto Transfer app and it will automatically pair. Wait a second. There, it's connected with the Disto, the Disto beeps, icon stops blinking, no you don't have to enter the 000, that's only one time. So that's pretty much how you pair the Disto D3, D330i with a Android phone. I'll show you the apps a little in another video. Thanks for watching. This is Adam again with AdvancedDimensions.com. Check out my site. Uh, not only do I sell these things, I've actually used them. I use them in the field. I use them currently. So I'm pretty... I know a lot about them. Uh, they're, a lot, they're pretty cool tools. They're a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Check it out.